and welcome to my American Idol review and recap of last night's episode, Wednesday night's episode, February 20th, 2013. So tonight, we start the sudden death rounds. This episode features 10 of the girls by the end of the night. Five of them will be cut. So first up, we had Jenny Beth Wills singing Heaven heartache and the power of love not the best um she's holding back you can tell and it's really it's nothing special uh the judges were iffy about it and they thought it wasn't that great and i agree then we have tina torres singing soulmates the judges loved her but for me it, it wasn't that great um her voice is very screechy and i don't know i'm not a fan I'm not a fan i like her audition but from what we've seen so far i haven't really liked so then we have Adriana Lat Latiano singing Ain't No Way, this, ain't, oh, singing Ain't No Way, sorry, excuse me. Um, this is the first that we've seen of her, and it was, it was a great, pleasant surprise. She's from Alaska, which is cool, very different and interesting, and she is Filipino, so that's a, I don't know if they have, do they have a big Filipino population in Alaska? I have no idea. I don't know anything about Alaska, honestly. <laughs> All I know is it's way up north. <laughs> um. So yeah, she has a really good natural singing voice, and I really love it. Um, it wasn't forced. She sang. She just sang, and she just sang the damn song, and she sang it well. Great performance, and I'm looking. I'm looking forward to more from her. I really am. Then we have Brandy Hotard singing "I Don't Love You Anymore." This was just plain boring. Uh, I don't know. That was the problem with the performance. She she has a good voice, but the performance was just so so, and that was the problem. Then we have Shuba Vadula singing <laughs> Shuba Vadula, Shuba Vadula. Sorry, I had to I had to mock Randy there for a second. <laughs> but yeah, Shuba Vadula singing Born This Way. Uh, she starts off the song on the piano, and I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. Um, and then she stood up, and it went downhill. She has an amazing, rich tone, but the song, it just it didn't work, and it it was just too over the top once she got off the piano. Um, I think if she just stayed on the piano and did more of a laid back version of the song, I think it would have been a moment. And you know, it's a shame because I really do like Shaduba. Sh oh my God, <laughs> I can't say her name. I really do like her. Um, I think, you know, come back in a few years, I think she could be a real contender because she does have a really good voice. Then we have Kamar Outley singing Mr. Know It All. Ah! No, 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 no. My ears were literally bleeding. Um, the, the worst performance of the night, off-key, the whole performance, not good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Then we have Cree Harrison singing Up to the Mountain. Oh, this was so freaking good. I love this girl. She just sang. She just sang the song. The emotion, the ease, it's just her style, and I love it. Um, she doesn't need, like, the fancy outfit. She just wears a shirt and jeans, and it's not about the appearance with her. It's just the music, and I absolutely love it. And supposedly Keith Urban um, compared her to Adele in an interview or something, and I absolutely agree. Like, it's just it's just about the music and the feeling with her, and that's how Adele is. Adele, she's like, Adele, she's like, the music, it's not about the appearance. It's about the music. It's about listening, and that's exactly what she's, oh, she's so... Oh, she's so good. I love her. Um, definitely one of the standout performances of the night by far. Then we have Angela Miller singing Nobody's Perfect. I absolutely love this. I love Angela. She is by far the fan fave in the competition this year, definitely. Um, I think the judges and the producers are definitely going to pimp the hell out of her um, this season. But honestly, I don't even care. Normally, I don't like the contestants that, that they pimp because it just gets so over the top. Like last season, the judges pimped Joshua Ledet so much. As good as Joshua is, it's just like... Why are you just pimping them so hard? Like it, it, it gets annoying, you know. And I feel like it might get annoying with her, but she's just so good. I like, I don't even care. Like she's just so flawless and she's freaking hot. Like with those shorts she was wearing, holy cow, work it, girl. I think she's definitely gonna make the top ten this year. This year, like hell, I think she's even gonna make it the top five at least. And I wouldn't be surprised if she makes it to the top two and wins the whole thing. I really wouldn't be. If I'm calling it now, if she makes the top two. The coronation song is going to be You Set Me Free, her original song, and it's going to be flawless, and she's going to win. That's what I predict. <laughs> if she makes the top two. If she doesn't make the top two, then... But, um, seriously, though, that's what's going to happen. Don't you think? She makes the top two, sings You Set Me Free, she's going to win. So, 
we'll see what happens. It's a long way from now, but you never know. If it happens, you heard it here first. And next we have Isabel singing God Bless the Child. Amazing vocals on this girl. I think just the problem was, was the song. One, God Bless the Child is a song that a lot of Haleans, Haley Reinhardt fans remember, because it was Haley Reinhardt's breakout moment during her season. And it's just hard for me, being a Haleian, to really accept another cover of the song, if that makes any sense at all. Um, the song was sung well, but the arrangement just didn't please the judges, and it didn't really please me either. And lastly, we have Amber Holcomb singing My Funny Valentine. Wow! Where did this girl come from? Her voice is so smooth and relaxing. And just, it just made me want to close my eyes and, and just get lost in it. And it was amazing. God, like I can't wait to see more from this girl. She's freaking awesome. So, advancing to the top 20 is Tina Torres. Meh. My least favorite out of the five, Cree Harrison, yes, Angela Miller, heck yeah, Amber Holcomb, yes, and Adriana Lattiano, yes. The only person I'm not really thrilled about is Tina. Uh, I can't wait to hear some more from the boys. Follow me on Twitter at Maria Halian, and see you all later. Bye-bye.